What I thought we would do with this example is do all three cases. Solve it all three different ways and you'll see the difference when we do that. I think it would be the most illustrative if we do it that way. So uh, what we're going to do first, uh, our first method of solving is say the slow step or the RDS is uh, the first one. Okay. So we'll do this first, then we'll move on to solve it in a different way. So if we're assuming that the slow step is the first one, then your answer would be the first rate, which would be K1 uh, times H2 N O squared. Am I done? I'm done. Because NO and H2 are both in the overall reaction at the top. Because they are, you're done. So there's one method. That's assuming that the slow step is the first step, this top one right here. Now, uh, let's try a different method. Let's say that the slow step that is the rate determining step, we'll assume that's the second step. So this second reaction here is blue. Uh, if we do that, that kind of assumption, we solve it a little bit differently. Uh, so now the answer, the answer is always going to be the rate determining step if that information is given. So that would be K2 and to O H2. Then you'd ask yourself, am I done? No, not in this case because uh, this one here is an intermediate. I wonder how did I know it's intermediate if something does not appear in the top overall reaction or wherever the overall reaction is written, then it's an it's a intermediate. This one doesn't appear here, so it's intermediate. I think it's the only intermediate in this set of reactions. Okay, because I cannot have an intermediate in my answer, it wouldn't make sense in lab. You can't practically measure that. I need to remove that from my rate law. So how do I do that? Well, you go to the reversible reaction. That's the first one. It has a double-headed arrow. And you would use this assumption. Rate 1 equals rate 1 reverse. That's just an assumption, but it tends to help us out quite a bit. So if we do that, let's write rate 1 forward. That's K1 times H2 times NO squared equals K1 reverse. And remember, I'm going to use primes, these little primes for reverse. N2O, H2O. Um, now, the reason we did that is that I have now just one intermediate here in this expression. I can solve for it, and then I will ultimately plug it back in here. So it's just giving me expression for the intermediate. Uh, well, if I do that, uh, oh, I'll do it down here. N2O equals... K1 over K1 prime, just moving the K1 prime over, times H2, NO squared, all over H2O. Now I have this expression. I'm going to combine uh, this equation and this equation together, plug it in for the N2O. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me just this up out of the way. Sorry for my slide being a little messy. I'm trying to conserve and rewash them. Okay. So R2, remember that's going to be my answer. That's the slow step. That's K2. And I'll write H2 as well. Now I'm going to write all the N2O mesh, which is this right here. Well, that's K1 over K1 prime. 
uh, H2NO squared over H2O. So what I'm going to do is just simplify that a little bit so it looks a little nicer. So if we yeah, simplify this, R2 is K2 times K1 over K1 prime uh, H2 squared and O squared over H2O. And now you'll notice this expression has no intermediate. Because it has no intermediate, I'm done. A little more complex of a method, but if the second step is the rate determining step, this is the way to do it. Okay. Any questions so far? There's two methods to solve it depending on which step is the rate determining step, first or second. Yeah. Yeah, water, I think you said water's not an intermediate. That's correct, it's right here. So we're cool. Uh, we don't want intermediates in the answer. So for example, this answer has H2, NO, and H2O. So we're good. If it did have an intermediate, I would need to continue and somehow get rid of it. In this uh, question, I believe N2O is the only intermediate. So that's the only one we have to get rid of. It can be more complex where there are several intermediates. Each intermediate you add makes it a lot more complex. Any other questions?